Okay, so for today's craft, we're gonna be making a cold color change Libby glass cup using these two designs. And I bought the Tech Grab cold color change set, which came with six colors. So I did have to alter the rainbow so I could use all of them. So I'll show you how I did that. So we're gonna to go to images and search for rainbows. And as you can tell, there are so many. And there's so many cute ones, but there's two designs that I picked, so I saved it. And these are the ones we're gonna use. So the love word, we're gonna leave this the same pretty much. We're just gonna adjust the colors. But for the rainbow, I have six colors of tech wrap, so we're gonna add two more bows. So I'm just ungrouping this, and then I'm gonna duplicate it. And then I'm gonna use the contour to essentially separate them. Okay, so this is the right size and this is the right size. So I'm just gonna duplicate the largest one and unlock the ratio aspect so we can stretch the rainbow however we want. I did try to just enlarge it, but it didn't have the right dimensions that I wanted. And then you can like kind of tilt it a little just so it doesn't look exactly the same. And then we'll do this for the largest bow also. It should look imperfectly perfect, right? Hand drawn, um, really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna make the top one red. And then I have to send it to the back so I can click on the orange. And pretty much just do the same thing for the rest of the colors. Okay, and so now we need to ungroup this and try to match the colors to the rainbow. It's kind of hard because the colors are really similar, but they need to be the same shades so that we can cut them out on the same mats. So we'll do our best and then we're going to double check it right after this. I'm just going to group the love and the rainbow together separately okay and then we're gonna click make it and then just double check and so i have two sets a smaller rainbow and heart and a larger rainbow and heart or love so it's kind of confusing but see how the larger ones match so that's good and if it's not the same we'll just adjust Okay, the yellows match. See how there's big and small. So we'll just, the oranges match, the red, the greens match for the large pair and the smaller pair and the blues and then the purples. So I, I adjusted it to two inches in width for both of them. And then now I'm just gonna delete it because we're just gonna print or use the top ones. Okay, so this is how it should look. One page for each color. Okay, so now we can duplicate it. So I wanna copy it four more times. So we have five of each. I'm not sure how many will fit on the cup, but it's always good to have at least one extra just in case. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out all these mats and weed um, everything and take you back to the table. Hi, so I cut out all of the different colors, the six different colors, and I weeded it. And just to save time, I cut them out and I made five of each 
of the designs, the rainbow and the love. And I did four of them already, just to save time. And all the scraps, I just wanted to show you real quick. I label, so these are all scraps, the back, because this will be super hard to tell what the color is later on. So I have that on the side. Um, I saved one of the rainbow and then one of the love to show you how I'm doing it. I have to say it was pretty challenging <laughs> because you can't, it's like the colors are so light so it's hard to see and then just the design, like the, the love has to be lined up correctly, you know. Um, so I'll show you how I did it and then I want to go ahead and alcohol wipe this cup so that will be all ready when we're done. So my sister actually gave me these cups and this handy little cup maker. I think she bought it from Etsy. So this is the first time I'm trying it out and also trying out these type of cups. So I have it all wiped down, checking for lint. I don't want any lint on there. It's supposed to be a lint-free pad, but you know, sometimes there's lint. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the side and let this dry. And I've really been liking this extra sticky. The first two of the love I tried using the Cricut transfer tape and it was, it took forever. So I switched back to this and I'll show you how I'm going to do this. I'm just gonna, I'll do the rainbow first. So I'm gonna cut off a piece about that big. And then I found out through trial and error that it's best to go from small to biggest. So I'm gonna do a little purple heart. See how easy that came up? And then I'm gonna do the blue. These rainbows are a little harder work. It didn't just come up. I have to peel it off, but it, this transfer paper or this lint roller is extra sticky. So it made it way easier to take it off. And then this is just an old mat. Sorry, it's so ugly. And I wish I cleaned it because some of the lint stuff is getting stuck on the transfer paper. But I usually weed and do everything I can on an old mat because it's just easier. Like I had to cut all these pieces out and they were like kind of sticking everywhere like these things like staticky and it's just a mess. So this transfer thing is um, semi-clear. It was easier to line up everything with the Cricut transfer paper, but it was so hard to get off. Like it wouldn't stick onto it. So uh, this is easier. And luckily this design, it's kind of lends itself to be not perfect. So that helps. So you can see only when you're up close, but it's good enough. The red part of the rainbow. So this rainbow is done. Here. I'm just gonna stick this on a piece of parchment paper on the side, and then we're gonna do. See these things like all stick to your hand. They get all over the place. So I'm just gonna cut off another sheet. And I'll do 
with the L first. Let's see. This heart goes right at the tip of the L. And then to help me, because I didn't want the letters to stick back onto the mat, like when I tried to line it up, I'm just getting a piece of parchment paper and then putting it on half of the L, just so I can see the tail and where it's supposed to go on the O. And what's also good about putting it on the mat is I lined it all up on this line. And then I'll just move the parchment paper over. Our cup is all dried off. Um, I don't really have like a specific place I'm putting all of this, so I'm just gonna like eyeball it. So put one here. Have this handy squeegee to help the air bubbles and it's glass so you want to put some pressure but not too much but yeah this holder really helps a lot This transfer tape is so sticky, it it usually sticks better, but I think because it's glass. And now I have to like re squash it down. So this is a lot of work. <laughs> to do all the different colors, but I think the result will be well worth it. Let's try a love. Put it this way. And I think for just good practices, I think it's better to trim off the excess. you wouldn't want it to go on the design and then pull up what you already have down. It's like, is there a transfer tape that's like perfect where it's everything sticks on it but it also releases it easily? If you have a favorite, let me know in the comments. I'm willing to try. So this one got a little bit of that green lint from my mat. Let's see if I can. Okay, I, I'll just redo that later. But lesson learned. <laughs> Make sure you use a clean mat. Good thing I think I made one extra rainbow in love. So 
I might replace this one later, but just for now. Yeah, I have not cleaned that mat forever, so it's not surprising that there's stuff all, all over it. We should do it before it gets really cured on there. So sad taking off all of my work. But lesson learned. Okay, even this one has some fuzz on it, but I think it's on the sticker or the transfer tape and if you could read my mind, okay this is good enough for now I'm gonna go grab the cold water and I'll be right back okay, so I have my ice cold water colors look really good definitely worth all of that time but, but yeah so thanks for watching me make this cup I hope you try this design or something like this um, the tech wrap color changing vinyl is amazing I just love it so much. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Walk into the place, dispatch you from a raise my heart. It started.